this is the inverse trigonomic function section integration. So the theorem says the integrals involving trigonometric functions um, says let u be a differentiable function of x and let a be a positive number, real number. For one, du over the square root of a squared minus u squared is actually going to be the arc sine of u over a plus c. For number two, the du over a squared plus u squared is one over a arc tan of u over a plus c. And then the du over u square root of u squared minus a squared is one over a arc secant of the absolute value of u over a plus c. So for our first example we have here, um, you can kind of tell that this will be 1 because you don't have an extra variable on the outside for it to be for item 3 and you have the square root not like number 2 where there is no square root. So this one really does identify more with number 1. So I have a feeling that we're going to end up with the arc sine of some, something. We just have to identify what is u and what is a. In this case, you can rewrite it as du, or I'm sorry, dx over the square root of the square root of 2 squared minus x squared. So that it's a little bit more identifiable as to what is a and what is u. Okay. Um, the square root of 2 squared is this 2 here. There is still a large square root over the entire expression, like there is here, okay? But um, we need to make sure that we have du in all of its parts. So the derivative of u is du, and the derivative of x is 1 dx, or just dx, which we do have here. So if we do change the variables over, we end up with du over square root of a squared minus u squared, which according to this formula up top, we um, arc sine of u over a plus c. And then if we back sub, u is x and a is a square root of 2. So we get x over the square root of 2 plus c. Now most times the computer will accept this, however, when it comes to radicals, um, the formal answer should have rationalized the denominator. So if I take x over the square root of 2 and I multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2, we get x square root of 2 over 2. And this is the rationalized expression. So we get x square root of 2 over 2. This is just a more formal version of the solution. However, this is also an acceptable answer most times inside WebAssign. So remember that all of this is just your side work. And for everything else, make sure you're using your equal signs to show the relevance of these statements to your original problem.